This tutorial is to discuss a Python program to find the factorial of a given number using a recursive function. A function definition can begin with a keyword def followed by the function name. Here we have used the function name as fact and this function takes one parameter. The name of the parameter is n. The body of the function begins with a colon symbol. Within the fact function the logic for finding the factorial of a number is written. It first check whether the number is 0. If the number is 0, the factorial of 0 is 1, which will be returned. Else, if the number is not 0, if it is greater than 0, we return the value of the factorial as n into factorial of n minus 1. The factorial of n minus 1 statement makes the function call again that makes it as a recursive function call. That means within the same function fact, the fact function get called again and again so that we get the factorial of a number as a return value of the fact function. For example, if we pass the value as 3, it returns n into fact of 2 and fact of 2 will be later replaced by 3 into 2 into fact of 1 and it will replace by 3 into 2 into 1 into fact of 0. That will get replaced as 3 into 2 into 1 into 1 that will be the factorial of 3 which is the value 6. Outside the function, a variable x is used to accept a number from the user. The input method is used to accept a value from the user. The accepted string value will get converted into integer and get stored into the variable x. The fact method is called by passing the value x and the outcome of the fact method which will be the factorial of x will get stored into the variable y. The print method is used to display the value of both x and y. The two placeholders are used. The first placeholder will be replaced by the value of x and the second placeholder, the placeholder are represented by two curly braces. The second placeholder will get replaced by the value of y. So if we pass the value of x as 5, the first placeholder will replace by 5 and the second placeholder will replace by the value of 5 factorial which is 120. So it gets printed as 5 factorial equal to 120. Run and see the program output of this.